This video takes a look back at uh, the Ravens in diamond formation, some of the plays we ran, um, just a little bit about the formation, um, some new wrinkles that you'll see added through the year, and things you might look for in the postseason. Um, also, I point this out in the video, uh, there is a tendency for the Ravens to run away from the tight end side. Uh, that is to release the uh, wings away from the tight end side. Uh, I can think of only one time I've, that I've seen where they do not do that. Um, the music you're hearing underneath my voice is original, is an original composition. I will leave in the description box a link where you can uh, download it uh, to purchase if, if you wish, or uh, a, a separate link where you can just go listen to the tune it's in its entirety. Okay, thank you very much. The Ravens will motion to this, this formation late, um, just to add to the uh, pause uh, that this formation uh, gives the defense. You can see, actually, pretty emphatically, you can see Boyle and, and Lamar instructing uh, Ricard opposite here. And then a late shift from Hayden. And we'll watch what happens. Um, the main thing I want to point out about this, in this clip and in others, is that the Ravens almost ex exclusively release uh, away from this strong side. Uh, we'll call Ricard a tight end here. Uh, what I mean by that, they'll release away from the tight end. And what I mean by release, uh, I'm referring to these two uh, wings. Uh, the outside wing generally is going to um, lead block out wide. And Nick, in this case, the backside, wing is reading along with Lamar, the end man here. And uh, he turns into sort of an arc blocker. You can see him get around and he's going to arc around, try to seal this edge for Lamar. Uh, the, the Patriots were at a loss really during this game. Uh, they're blitzing here to stop the run. They were doing that throughout and uh, they get caught. The, the other thing about running away from strength, let's, as I'm kind of talking about it, uh, it's, sometimes it's just a numbers game, and you can see that the look is very balanced, uh, but the, the, the Patriots are heavy, heavy to this side. If we count this nose tackle as neutral, we still have one, two, three, four, five defenders to the tight end side versus three. So it makes good sense from a numbers standpoint. Uh, there's the late, or the, the motion of Ricard and late motion of Hurst, and you can see the balance here. You can see the, the unbalance, if you will. And um, Nick makes the read, the run blitz, and this one's a big game. Very similar call here. You see Roberts um, motioning field to boundary, gets out wide, and then the late motion of the tight end, or in this case, sort of a slot, and he gets into that wing formation. Here's our uh, tight end, and note the, uh, the alignment of the Patriots defense. One, two, three, four, Five to that side, the nose, which we'll call neutral, uh, and then three defenders to this side. Uh, Boyle's going to be more of a, a um, lead block here, just a fullback roll, and he does a great job with this. Uh, Hayden releases out wide, and you can see the, the confusion. Again, this is the tight end side. Again, they release away from the tight end. Uh, this linebacker or safety here. He's just kind of flat-footed, does not know how to play this. Bozeman's going to go, go to the backside linebacker and seal him off. Um, and Ingram kind of creases through there. Uh, so the Patriots had a hard time with this formation. You can see Nick get two for one here. Nick drives high tower and then kind of ricochets into to 70. 70 has just a little bit of um, chip from, from Stanley, and uh, he's getting out wide to start the play anyway. By the time he gets back, Ingram's through the hole. Let's watch it again. The Steelers play this in a, in a much more balanced look uh, than, say, the Patriots did. But you see a couple of the same things. Number one, here's your tight end. The, uh, the, the uh, wings are going to release away from it. And it's a good gain on first down. Um, note a couple things. Uh, the release away, the late motion of Hurst from the, from the slot again. 
Um, watch how well uh, Ricard reads this. 98 and 97 are confused here. This, def this formation gives defenders pause. Both of them in the same gap. Both of them reading dive here with full, the fullback. Uh, Ricard as the fullback comes out front, gets under 98 and seals him. Um, pretty much flat foot at that point. Easy pickings for Pat. Just a great read, understanding what, what Griffin's going to do, how he's going to keep that. And Gus turns into a blocker here. This is the first time I've seen a throw out of this formation. It doesn't mean it's the, the only time. It's just what, what I remember seeing. And it's recently. Uh, this is obviously the second matchup versus Cleveland. And uh, the throw isn't there. Um, when you watch it from the side, you see some of the same things. You see a late motion. You see a tight end to this side. As soon as you see this motion into the diamond formation, watch 44 and um, right there. <clears throat> Starts motioning to the side. This may be something, a tell, and he's pointing the defense to that side. Uh, and he's noticed this idea uh, that we've been pointing out, which is we, we always release away from that. That could be. That's my... Uh, my hunch or my guess, that's exactly what he's saying there. You can see the Browns play this really well. Um, 97 in particular does a great job. And he's really the reason this play doesn't come off, I think. Just Lamar's not an able to get any kind of accurate throw, falling away. Um, but the, the play is there to be had. Um, so Hayden in that very familiar kind of release... This guy just a little bit flat-footed, although I think he plays it pretty well, too. Um, you can see Hayden turn and look for the football, realizing he's got a step. So if that ball comes out just a little sooner, or if this guy bites a little bit harder on the keep, uh, this could be a big play. But I think Cleveland plays this well, um, and we just don't connect. Uh, but it's something to watch for, I think. Uh, throwing out of this formation, um, yeah. Uh, this play is separate from uh, the diamond formation stuff. Uh, I just thought it was an interesting wrinkle late in the year. I hadn't seen this play before. Uh, well drawn up, well executed. You see the entire offensive line, along with Boyle, going to a pass set. Watch Nick. Uh, followed by this fake here. Looks like Lamar's getting the ball out on a screen, and then the give to uh, the back. Note the uh, fold block here, Bozeman. And then Ronnie with that play fake pulling 31 to that side. Ronnie can get out and seal him. Nick leads through. Again, just another, a, a, a different wrinkle um, late in the year.